Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host, Dr. Armin Simonian. In my last episode, uh, we visited the ISMP website and talked about some of the resources there. And I mentioned that I would be talking about passive clinical decision support, specifically tall man lettering. So today I wanted to make good on that promise and address tall man lettering, talk a little bit more in detail about it because I did get into active CDS, which includes drug-drug interactions and allergy checkings, pop-up warnings, expert rules, but I didn't really go into detail in the past about passive CDS. So let's take a look at tall man lettering specifically as one of our tools for passive CDS. I'll get this started. And um, just as a review, we did talk in a previous episode about the different types of clinical decision support. So we have order sets, and then we can limit the number of selections on drop-down lists for our prescribers so that uh, makes it a little bit safer if um, wrong choices or inappropriate choices or too many choices are not listed. Okay. And the third component here that's listed is uh, tall man lettering. Now you might have seen this before. Um, our minds are incredible. When we read, um, we can do some very incredible things with words, even if they're misspelled and the letters are out of order, we can really figure out what's going on. So you've probably seen this before. It's um, research that was done at Cambridge University and they put together this little blurb. It's been posted all on the internet for um, decades. But if you try to read this, you can see that they're talking about the phenomenal power of the human mind. According to a research at Cambridge University, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first and last letter be in the right place. Now, you're probably reading through this with me and you could probably figure out these words if you really um, kind of just try to read through it fairly quickly. Your mind is pretty incredible. It can fill in the blanks and fix the word order and make sense out of what's being written there. So this is why um, the way that we display things, the way that we build drug names and display those names on our screens within our electronic health records for our prescribers, whether it's um, CPOE or e-prescribing, it's really critical for the pharmacy informaticist to look at how those items are built, how they're displayed, and really work towards making the systems as safe as possible by avoiding any inappropriate selections or confusions about uh, what's listed there. And I've talked in the past about other aspects of building a drug database where you don't wanna to have too many choices or when you do a search for a particular medication, you wanna make sure that those searches result in a consistent list, whether you search by generic name or brand name or synonym that it comes up with a complete list for that medication so that the prescriber can always see all of the appropriate choices. Now, one of the tools that we use with passive CDS to help distinguish between drug names is tall man lettering. And we visited the ISMP website last time and I showed you the tools and resources. They actually published this list a while ago and they've been updating it and it is a combination of the tall man lettering recommendations from the FDA and then an additional set of medications that has been listed out by ISMP. If you look at the FDA uh, names and you can get this list by going directly to the FDA website and searching for tall man, letter, tall man letters, you can um, find the FDA approved list and you see that some of the names are listed here. So for example, at the top of the list, we have acetazolamide and acetohexamide. So you can see how if the letters are jumbled up and our 
minds are able to fix those things and somebody's looking for a drug that starts with aceta and ends in ide that they might confuse these two so we capitalize certain letters to help distinguish between those and here is uh, the ismp list on table two within the ismp document and it shows additional items that they've found to be problematic that aren't officially listed on the FDA website, but that they have added to the list. So as a pharmacy informaticist, you want to make sure that you're aware of these lists and maybe evaluate them. Um, not every pharmacy is going to carry every drug, so you might not have to address all of these. And um, if you don't carry some of the drugs or it's, um, something that doesn't make sense for your system, then you don't necessarily have to implement it. But certainly if it's a drug that's uh, used within your hospital to any degree, you want to consider using tall man lettering to make sure that the appropriate medication is selected during CPOE or e-prescribing. So just one example of passive clinical decision support and how the pharmacy informaticist can focus in on the drug database and build it properly with tall man lettering so that when medications are displayed on the EHR screens and the clinician is trying to pick the appropriate medication that they're able to hone in on that one, the exact selection, the correct selection, the right drug for the right patient and prescribe that medication. All right, so if this was helpful for you, then please like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll thank you for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, look after the health of others, and I'll continue to work on more episodes and hope to see you next time. Take care.